A trip along the roads of Japan, even in the densely populated world of Tokyo, is not a test of your nervous system, but rather a pleasant activity. Those who come to the land of the rising sun are amazed by the absence of traffic jams, cleanliness, and smooth road surfaces. Building road infrastructure is one of the most important and responsible tasks within the framework of any country's economic development. Today we will tell you about how roads are constructed in Japan and why the Japanese have one of the best well-thought-out transportation systems in the world. Enjoy watching! The automobile is the primary mode of transportation in Japan. It accounts for up to 60% of passenger and 52% of freight transport. The total length of roads in the country is 1.203 million kilometers, including 7.6 thousand kilometers of high-speed expressways, 55 thousand kilometers of national highways, and 129 thousand kilometers of roads between prefectures. The remaining 1.12 million kilometers of roads are rural and urban roads. A network of highways connects the major cities of Kaishu, Shikoku, and Honshu Islands. Separate highway networks exist on the Okinawa and Hokkaido Islands. All these roads are divided high-speed toll highways with regulated access. The length of roads in Japan exceeds that of China, Russia, and Canada and is second only to the combined length of roads in Brazil, India, and the USA. When it comes to road density per unit of territory, Japan ranks first in the world. At the same time, the number of cars per capita here is only surpassed by a similar statistic in the United States. On average, there are 1.13 cars per family in Japan. The construction of the first high-speed expressway in Japan began in 1954. In 1965, the first high-speed highway, the Maishin Expressway, was opened for operation. Just four years later, the Tomei Expressway was put into operation. By 1981, the country already had 2880 kilometers of high-speed expressways in operation. All express highways of Japan are toll roads. The price for using such a highway is the highest in the world. The cost depends on the length of the route. On average, to travel 100 kilometers on a toll road in Japan, you will have to pay $22. This is significantly higher than the cost of using toll highways in neighboring China, $10, and in distant Britain, $12. For Americans accustomed to an average toll price of $3 per 100 kilometers, Japanese rates might seem exorbitant. Nevertheless, Japanese toll highways exist, thrive, and continue to be built. However, this doesn't mean that Japanese drivers don't have a choice. Next to the Toll Expressway, there always runs a regular road, usually used by public transportation. Free roads are always of lower quality compared to toll roads with many traffic lights regulating the flow. A free road typically has only one lane in each direction, while toll roads are usually constructed with two or three lanes in each direction. Consequently, the condition and level of service at gas stations, repair shops, motels, and roadside cafes on toll roads are significantly higher than on free ones. In order to build new high-speed routes and maintain the condition of already constructed roads, Japan established three corporations for road construction. Nippon Expressway Company Nexco, Japanese Highway Companies Central, Eastern, and Western. The corporations are responsible for the respective Central, Eastern, and Western Japanese islands. These corporations operate under the auspices of the state. Initially, Nexco's funding was provided through substantial financial investments from postal departments. Funds were formed on the basis of the contributions of many people. Thus, it can be said that Japan's roads were largely built, not by the government, but through the contributions of its citizens. The first step in constructing any highway is planning. In Japan, this stage is traditionally approached with all seriousness. Numerous professionals are involved in the process. First and foremost, the type of road required for specific conditions is determined. The anticipated traffic load is estimated. The terrain's characteristics and how they will impact construction and road maintenance are considered. Planning for particularly complex highways can take months or even years. The need for interchanges, viaducts, and bridges is taken into account. Ecologists and economists are mandatory participants in the planning process. The former determine the road's environmental impact, while the latter evaluate the cost of construction and preferred materials to use. When the preliminary stage of construction is completed, construction experts and surveyors create detailed plans and drawings. At this stage, public involvement is mandatory. Any citizen of the country has the right to raise questions about the upcoming construction, express their opinions on the future road. 
Typically, all comments and suggestions are compulsorily reviewed by the planning team members. Furthermore, project developers will also solicit estimates and proposals from local, state, or federal agencies to ensure that the road is built with maximum consideration of their preferences. If the land plot mentioned in the construction plan belongs to a private person, negotiations will be necessary to acquire the land for the road's construction. In Japan, as in the United States, there is a tendency towards proactive planning and acquiring such plots from private owners. This significantly accelerates the planning and construction process compared to, for example, the Russian Federation, where issues of land acquisition for roads often encounter inflated prices from landowners and a lack of state-planned land acquisition for road construction. Once the planning stage is completed and a contractor is selected, earthworks begin. For a road a sturdy foundation is necessary, otherwise it won't last long. A smooth surface is created and gravel layers are added and compacted. Drainage systems and stormwater management systems are established at this stage as well. All Japanese roads have a slope that allows water to drain away, preventing puddles on the road surface. This is why Japanese roads are nearly free of mud and water even after heavy rains. It is well known that modern roads are built of either asphalt or concrete. Japanese road construction is based on a technology popular in the United States. Concrete is the primary surface material for roads in Japan. Unlike asphalt pavement, concrete is more expensive, but it also lasts much longer, making concrete highways more cost-effective in the long run compared to asphalt ones. On the other hand, it is concrete that enables Japanese road builders to create multi-level complex interchanges, which have long become a hallmark of Japanese megacities. During construction, a mixture of sand and gravel is used, bonded together with cement. Liquid concrete is poured into steel molds laid on the road. With the help of a road vibrator, the mixture is compacted to ensure even settling without internal voids. This technology improves the durability of the road surface. Properly laid concrete can last for decades, while an asphalt road needs repairs every few years. Cracks in concrete are dealt with by creating joints between concrete slabs. With these joints, the slab can safely contract and expand under the influence of temperature variations. Japan traditionally leads the world in innovation and technological revolutions. Road construction is no exception. Japanese engineers long ago realized that removing snow from roads is more challenging than preventing its accumulation. The climate on some Japanese islands is quite harsh. For example, Hokkaido's average yearly temperature is only 8 degrees Celsius. However, snowfall and icy conditions don't threaten Japanese roads. In all snow-prone cities across the country, roads and sidewalks are equipped with a heating system. This innovation effectively combats both ice formation and snow accumulation on roads, significantly reducing the risk of accidents and making traffic safer. Along the middle of the road, a concrete strip is usually laid in which hot water sprayers from thermal sources are installed. The intervals between these sprayers are quite small, allowing the water jets to heat the surface and melt the snow on it. The intensity of spraying is regulated, and the condition of the devices is regularly checked by specialized services. In areas without sprayers, pipes with the same thermal water are installed under the road, serving the same purpose. Another interesting feature of the Japanese road infrastructure is the presence of so-called singing roads. A singing road is a stretch where a passing vehicle generates vibrations that create a musical melody. The effect is achieved by applying parallel strips up to 24 millimeters wide and up to 6 millimeters deep onto the road. It is noteworthy that these sections will produce the intended melody only when the driver is traveling at the required speed. Typically, the speed limit on a singing road is 50 kilometers per hour. Thus, the road helps control the driving speed. On the other hand, the road sound prevents the driver from falling asleep at the wheel. The first singing road appeared in Denmark in 1995, but in its characteristic manner, Japan had already taken the lead in implementing this interesting innovation. New roads are constantly being built in Japan. Since automobile transportation is predominant on the islands, a considerable amount of money is invested in these roads. Currently, the construction of the second Tokyo Bypass is underway, and a high-speed highway is being constructed along the coast of the Sea of Japan between the Tatori and Matsu prefectures. The main focus of the builders is on creating high-speed highways. However, this doesn't mean that small mountain villages are left without roads. Roads exist in Japan practically everywhere people live, and they live very densely on these islands due to limited space. But even the shortage of space is not an obstacle to laying new roads, as they are the foundation of a successful economy for the country. 
The result of Japan's planned and meticulous approach to road construction has naturally led to a network of roads where traveling is pleasant and comfortable. Even in megacities, traffic jams are almost unheard of here. Perhaps just a slight slowdown on the most congested sections of the route. The road conditions on Japanese highways further demonstrate that careful planning and a meticulous approach to every stage of work are the key to high quality and long-lasting service of the roads. Write in the comments what you think about the construction technologies and quality of Japanese roads. Would you like to know more about the roads of other countries? Share your opinion in the comments. Also check out our previous videos. See you later.